Hey everyone and welcome to this video. Now I'll be showing you how to create smart post lists with the help of JetBlock plugin. Here is what we are going to create. Now let's head over to Elementor Editor where I've got a blank page and then go to Elements and search for smart post lists. This widget is a part of JetBlock plugin and now I drop it onto a new section and it gives me a basic preset which I'm going to be customizing. Here you can type in the widget title, let it be trending news, and I'm going to change the title tag to H3. You can mark first post as featured, and I'll do this in this particular case. And it's going to be on top of other posts. Let me just quickly customize its look. You can also show post terms. And here you can tweak the number of the columns and the rows for the posts. I'm going to go with two rows and two columns so it creates a nice looking grid. Let's reduce the post image maximum width to 40. And then if you want you can restrict the maximum length of the title and of an excerpt. I will hide the read more button for these posts, but I'll leave it enabled for the featured post. These posts are also going to show the meta and will be also positioned before the title. You can enable or disable post terms and choose what terms it's going to pull out, categories or tags. And then let's go to query and controls. You can use custom query that you can generate on this page on the Kirkwood Block website. Or you can set the query using these settings. Like here you can choose the type of the content you want to be displayed. Here you can query the post by categories, tags or IDs. So if you choose a certain category like fashion or idea, it's going to pull out the posts that belong to these categories. You can exclude the post by IDs and filter by custom fields. Here you can show the filter by terms, which is going to appear on top in the bottom right corner. And you can also tweak the position later in the style tab. You can roll up extra terms, so it's going to roll them up in case you have too many terms. And the show page and control option will show you the errors that's going to help you create a slider with your posts. But I have only five posts in total, so I'm not showing you this option, but you have an ability to style them, change their position and their design. Here you can create the custom fields and choose the position for your custom fields, like so. Now let's go to the style tab and start styling our post list. I'll set the global wrapper margin to 5. The featured post margin to 35 and post list margin to 35 as well. So here we go, let's go to the heading. And what we can do here is to create a divider between the heading and the featured post. Like so. And the margin is going to be 35. Now when we need to change the color of the text, let's go and apply the background that's going to be in our final design. Let's 
like so. Let's go back to the style tab and choose the title color as white. Make it a little bolder and increase the margin at the top. Here we go, now it's time to have a look at the filter settings. So the typography, I guess it's fine. Let's set the size to 15. The color is going to be like that. Maybe we could make it a little bit bolder, like so. Here you can tweak the icon that's going to hide or roll up all of your terms that you want to hide. And we're done with the filter. Let's go to the featured post settings. So what I want to do is to increase the inner content margin on the left. So that would be 40. Like so. The post image, I believe it looks fine. I'll not be applying any image overlay. The post title is going to be white and be a little bit bigger. And it's going to turn red on hover. Like so. I also would reduce the line height. And that's pretty much it I wanted to change. And now let's make the post text white. The typography is fine, but I really do want to add some margins on the top and at the bottom. Here we go. Let's close this tab and go to featured post meta. Let it be grayish, like so. The alignment is fine, and I'll just increase the divider gap a little bit. Now the read more button. Let's set the color as gray. The text color I will leave as white. The weight will be somewhere around 600. The padding and border radius are fine. The element is fine, so let's close it. Now the terms links. Since we don't have any, I'm not be applying any settings, but you see that you have an ability to tweak the way they look. Actually, for both the featured terms links and the terms links for the other posts. So now let's customize the look of the post in this grid at the bottom. So the pattern margin are fine, the inner content margin, let's, I would say, increase it on the right and on the left. Now it looks nicer, the background, let's leave it as it is, the post image is fine. No overlay this time, and the color is going to be white. I'm pretty satisfied the way it looks. And now the color in hover is going to be red. Here we go. The alignment is also fine. The post text will be white. And I actually don't really like how it looks here. This post text is really a little bit off. So let me go back to the content tab. Scroll down. And here in the excerpt length, I'll set it to zero, and it's going to hide the excerpt for my post. Let's go back to the style tab. So as you see, you can go back and forth, change the settings, and just find the settings that suit you the best way. So now, let's go back to the post tab, and I guess we're pretty much done in here. And now let's go to the post meta. 
here we go read more button we don't really have any read more button for these posts in the grid we don't have any terms links no pigeon errors but you see there is a ton of settings for them like the position the design the behavior on normal and hover etc you also have an ability to style your custom fields like so and apply the loader styles I guess we can publish this layout and have a look at it on the front end. And here we go, we have just created a smart post list with the help of JetBlock plugin. If you liked the video, leave your thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching.